So a while back, I asked the question on both the Clay forums and the Discord and on my own YouTube channel community page as to whether or not Triple Mactus should be a guaranteed biome. And almost unanimously, people were saying that it should be the case. And I kind of want to delve into why Triple Mactusk should be guaranteed in world generation in Don't Starve Together. So starting off, Triple Mactusk is a set piece that isn't guaranteed in each world, but it is definitely something that is incredibly desirable for most any world generation. All this does is it guarantees that in addition to the one Mactusk that is in the moon pedestal biome, you also get three different Mactusks in a biome that contains a small quarry, a small forest, a small grassland, and it is encompassed by a savanna. The reason this is as desirable as it is, is simply because Mactusk's drops are insanely good. Just in general, Mactusk has some of the best drops in the game. Mactusk has a 25% chance of dropping his Tam O'Shanter, which regenerates your sanity at a rate of 6.6 .6 a minute, which is one of the highest in the game, and the fact that it takes up the head slot rather than the body slot means that you could just have it on in addition to a backpack in order to essentially just get rid of Sanity Drain. The Tam O'Shanter itself is incredibly desirable, but it isn't a make or break thing since there are different ways to manage your sanity. The biggest factor that people really benefit from in regards to Mactusk is his Tusk. As opposed to the Tam's 25% drop rate, the Tusk itself has a 50% drop rate, which is a little more favorable. However, Mactusk himself has a 3 day respawn timer, meaning that if you kill him on the first day of winter, you can only kill him 5 more times. In some worlds, you just get really unlucky, and you don't get a tusk at all. And even in worlds that you do get a tusk in, it isn't guaranteed that everybody else in your team is going to get a tusk. The tusk is used whenever you're wanting to make a walking cane, and walking canes are such an integral part of this game, because they are just a passive speed boost that you could have in your hand equip slot. Meaning that, in most any scenario, you could just swap to having a walking cane in order to make yourself faster moving from one point to another or just using it within kiting patterns. Because of how useful Mactusk is, people tend to go over and kill him as soon as possible, leading to a lot of public servers finding Mactusk, not really telling anybody, and then camping there about two to one day before winter, just waiting to hopefully get a Mactusk kill and get his drop. Now this is all fine and dandy, but why should it be guaranteed to have three Mac Tusks in addition to the one additional Mac Tusk by guaranteeing the Triple Mac Tusk biome? Well, in my opinion, Triple Mac Tusk is just beneficial to everybody else on the team because it greatly increases the chances that you and everybody else on your team are going to get his drops. Because of the very nature of this game, people are going to tend to play with friends and with other teammates. So limiting Mac Tusk to a single one and having to argue over who gets what drops and what characters benefit more than others and just having to compete for all of Mactusk's drops in general is very anti-team oriented. I think it is an incredibly annoying process to have to argue with people over whether or not you should get a Tam or whether or not you should get a Walking King. That alone is reason enough in my opinion, but moving beyond that, making such useful items reliant on essentially just RNG for most other people is just a very lame mechanic in my opinion. I'm of the opinion that if you are skilled enough to get something in this game, it shouldn't be up to what is essentially a coin flip to get those things. Now, people have brought up that maybe there should be alternative methods to get Mactusk's drops. One of the ideas I saw was a buff in the sunken chest drop rate. Because if you're unfamiliar, the sunken chest itself does have a small percent chance of dropping a tusk or a walking cane. I can't remember which one. But the chance is so abysmally low that it just isn't worth looking for a lot of the times, in my opinion. There is a misconception regarding the hostile flare because people think that it spawns a new mech tusk, but that isn't necessarily true. The way the hostile flare works is it has a 50-50 chance of spawning a deer clops and it will teleport a Mac Tusk that already exists on the map to you. So if you already killed Mac Tusk and you use a Hostile Flare within the 3 day waiting period, you just aren't going to get anything from it. 
because it doesn't create a new Mac Tusk. It just warps the one in the moon pedestal or to the triple Mac Tusk if you have it in your world to you. Overall, I think if they did incorporate some method to get more tusks or maybe even get more tams, it would help a ton. I would say just guaranteeing the triple Mac Tusk that piece biome would remedy most every issue that I see wrong with Mac Tusk as he is currently implemented right now. But that's my opinion. Uh, hopefully people recommend it more because I do think that it would be a nothing but a benefit for the average player. I personally guarantee it in every single one of my world gens right now, but not having to host and just being aware that yes, there is a Mac Tusk in this world, and yes, there are enough Mac Tusks to farm for each person, would put my mind at ease so much that I think it's definitely worth talking about, at least bringing it up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, because I am generally interested in what it is that you guys have to say about this. Because, you know, I think that a lot of people are suggesting a lot of changes in the game, as of late, especially, and I just think it's interesting to, like, throw this hat into the ring and at least have that conversation. But yeah, until next time, bye bye